By now, I'm sure we have all encountered people who are at opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to fear versus trust in God. And this is no different for churches. There are some that are reacting out of fear, some out of love and trust, and even some who have chosen to do nothing and simply wait it out. And there are many in the world watching and waiting for the church as a whole to fail. For many people across the world, this is a dark time. There are so many who have lost loved ones and even more who are fighting for their lives. How are you handling it? I want you to know that it's okay to feel sadness during this time, but how are you reacting in the midst of that sadness? We're all trying to make the best of it, but what is your best? Listen to what it says in Psalms 126. When the Lord brought back his exiles to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. They were filled with laughter and we sang for joy. And the other nations said, what amazing things the Lord has done for them. Yes, the Lord has done amazing things for us. What joy. Restore our fortunes, Lord, as streams renew the desert. And I love what it says here in these next couple of verses. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. I tell you what, I know I speak for everyone here at Coastline when I say we can't wait for that day. We can't wait for the day that we all come back from this. But what we really want is to be able to come back from this just how they did, with shouts of joy and laughter and singing. And that is why we're doing these daily devotionals and Zoom calls and online services and connect groups. We don't want to ignore the sadness in the world, but we do want to continue to plant seeds in the midst of it because that is what scripture instructs us to do. So I want to encourage you, continue to plant seeds and spread God's love because when you do that, even in the sadness, you will harvest with shouts of joy. And when the Lord restores us, we will return together with shouts of joy and laughter, and the world will proclaim what amazing things the Lord has done for them.